We're going to be learning some new skills together, little mathematicians. I have some learning intentions here. Learning intentions are goals of what we want to learn over our upcoming lessons. There are two rockets here, so there are two main goals of what we're going to learn together. These are the things that we want to learn. They're the things we want to focus on and be able to talk more about. They're skills that we want to get better at. The first one here says that we want to learn that mathematicians create shapes in different ways. We're going to be learning about shapes, little mathematicians. That sounds like fun. The second rocket here says that circles, squares, triangles and rectangles are 2D shapes and they have features that we can explore and talk about. Do you think we can learn about those two things? Creating shapes in different ways and learning about features of 2D shapes like circles, squares, triangles and rectangles? I think you can do it, little mathematicians. Let's learn about shapes together in our lessons. To begin your lesson today, you should have watched this fun episode on ABC iView. This is about the Sticky Gang. Today they were investigating shapes. We're looking at shapes together. Kindergarten, do you know any shapes? If you know some shapes, tell somebody nearby or say them aloud. What shapes do you know? I'm going to talk to you about these shapes today. Can you see the shapes next to me? Can you see a yellow circle? Can you see purple rectangles? Can you see some pink triangles and a dark pink square? These are types of 2D shapes. We're going to talk about features of shapes. Do you remember when we looked at the word attributes? Remember, attributes are the things that we notice about objects. Well, when we talk about 2D shapes, we talk about some of the attributes, colour, size, but we're going to look closely at things like how tall they are, how wide they are, and we do this using things like their edges or sides. We can also talk about their corners. Do they have a corner or not? What is a corner? All of these things are going to be what we talk about during our time together working on shapes. Let's take a look at a circle together first and we can talk about that word, features. We can observe and talk about what we notice about a circle. I'm thinking about a circle. Can you see a yellow circle? This is the word circle and here's a picture of a circle. A circle has one curved edge. If you use your finger in the air, pretend you're going around the edge of a circle. It's curved. It doesn't have any straight lines. It has a curved line. It has no corners. This is what a corner looks like. Think of your elbow. It's sort of like a corner. You can make your own corner with your body. Well, a circle has no corners. Kindergarten, staying where you are, use your eyes to look around. Can you see any circles? You don't need to get up and get those circles, but can you see circles around you? We're spotting circles. Can you see three circles with your eyes nearby around you? Now that we've spoken about a circle, what do you notice about a square? Make some comments and tell somebody nearby what you notice about a square. Well, a square has four edges, four sides. Can you see the red lines showing us where the sides are on this square? There are four edges or sides on a square. What about corners, those points? They're like a spot where two edges meet. Do you see any corners on this square? Well, there are four sides on a square. And guess what? There are four corners. Can you see the four corners on this square? One, two, three, four. A square has four sides and four corners. What else do you notice about a square though? Well, I notice that all of the sides are the same size. 
There aren't a mix of long lines and short lines. It's like an equal shape. The sides are the same. This is a square and it has four sides and four corners. Can you spot any squares around you? Do the same thing as what you did with your circles. Can you stay where you are, but use your eyes to look around and spot three squares? You might find a big square or a small square. Try and find three squares with your eyes, little mathematicians. During our work together on shapes, we're going to look at other shapes too. You might know a triangle. You might have seen rectangles before. We're going to do a lot more work together on shapes. Today we looked at circles and squares, but we looked at that word features, the things that we notice about shapes. Remember, it's a little bit like the word attributes. The things that we notice about an object are attributes. And when we're talking about 2D shapes, we can talk about some of the things that we notice. There are edges, sides or corners. We can talk about whether they have curved lines or straight lines. We can also talk about things like colour. You can see some different attributes here and how they've been sorted. And we've done work with attributes before. There is so much for us to learn together when we're talking about shapes.